David Lynch's Dune is rumored for 4K. Basic Instinct gets a 4K announcement. And Donnie Darko and the Good, the Bad, the Ugly arrive on 4K this week. All this and more in the latest physical media report. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, I'm Ken and welcome back to this week's edition of the Physical Media Report, your weekly dose of physical media goodness where we talk about the news, the rumors, what is coming out that is new this week, the deals, everything new and wonderful um, in the world of physical media entertainment we cover on this show. And I just want to thank you for being here for episode 54. That is right, guys. We are on episode 54 and thank the Lord. I just want to say this out front. Thank the Lord that Blu-ray.com came back up yesterday because it made putting this show together so much easier than it was last week and that I thought it was going to be this week as I was going to have to do some real digging to get the information that I needed uh, for this show. So thankfully, Blu-ray.com came up just in the nick of time and I am very grateful. So yes, this is the Physical Media Report where we talk about all the latest news in the world of physical media entertainment. So if you can, please hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do all kinds of great physical media, movie, entertainment based content on this channel and I would definitely appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. I do weekly Blu-ray hunts, reviews. I do live streams where I interview other collectors. I also did a live stream last night where we covered the new Mortal Kombat film and the finale of Falcon and Winter Soldier. So all kinds of great, wonderful content on this channel that I would definitely love for you to check out on a regular basis. And also be sure to comment down below what you are excited about this week, what's coming out that you're going to pick up. Leave all of that in that comment section below. So let's get into it, guys, and we're gonna start off with the rumors. We have one rumor that I saw from the past week, and this is coming from the rumor master, Geek Gab, on Instagram. Dune, David Lynch's Dune from 1984 is apparently coming to 4K in 2021 from Arrow Entertainment. And uh, I love the cover on this image. I hope that it is the actual cover for the movie. Uh, but yeah, I've never seen Dune, so this would be a cool way to watch it for the first time and hopefully just in time uh, for Denis Villeneuve's film when it comes out. So I've read the book Dune. I've just never watched that older film. I've just I've heard hit and miss things about it, uh, so I never really felt the need to check it out. But if it comes out in 4K from Arrow, I will definitely be buying it. And hopefully it has that cover art as well. So definitely exciting news if you're a David Lynch fan, if you're a Dune fan, if you're prepping for a Villeneuve's new film like I am, um, get excited for that release. So that's it for the rumors. Let's get into the news and announcements this week, guys. And some of these I've already covered, but these are getting official release dates and actual cover art for them. So I'm going to go over them again. So the first one is nobody is getting a 4K release and Blu-ray from Universal on June the 21st. So I've talked about this one before. I'm pretty sure the release date is still intact, but it does have new actual cover art for the 4K. And I have to say, I liked the original poster better. I don't know if I like the yellow in this one, but this is the actual artwork that's going to be on the release when it comes out in June the 21st. So I like Nobody. I liked it quite a bit, actually. I enjoyed the movie, so I'm excited to maybe pick it up in 4K. It might be a Blu-ray release, but I don't know. I'll probably end up grabbing it in the 4K, depending on the price. If it's 30 bucks, I probably won't grab it outright. But uh, the next one up, guys, is Basic Instinct in 4K will be coming from Studio Canal, who's been doing a lot of the Paul Verhoeven films. Um, on June the 14th, the Collector's Edition and Zavi Steelbook. So we got the Zavi Steelbook image, um, and it's a cool image. I, I am definitely going to be grappling with which one that I am going to get, the slipcover collector's version or that Steelbook, because I think they both look incredible. And yeah, I'm excited to get this one because I have also never seen Basic Instinct. So I'm excited to check that one. And I have a DVD copy of the film, which I might check out before this does, but to be honest, I'll probably just wait for the 4K and watch it for the first time then. So excited for this to come out on June the 14th. We also have a Eureka who announced their new July uh, slate. They have the Millionaire's Express, Wild Search, and a Buster Keaton collection. These are not Region B releases. You will need a region free player in order to play these. If you do not have those, if you do not live across the pond um, in Europe, you will not be able to play these on a regular Blu-ray player. But I, I think it's fun to kind of branch out 
and uh, discuss some of the other physical media that is out there. And I definitely intend on getting a region-free Blu-ray player at some point because I really want to get into some of these more obscure releases and these obscure boutique uh, collectors companies and start reviewing some of their titles that I find to be pretty interesting. So uh, The Courier is getting a Blu-ray release from Lionsgate. This is a movie starring Benedict Cumberbatch that I've actually heard some pretty decent things about. Um, so I may be checking this one out at some point in the future. This is coming out on June the 1st. We also have a City of Lies coming to Blu-ray from Lionsgate on June the 8th. Uncover Punch and Gun Blu-ray coming from Wellgo USA on June the 8th. Never heard of that one. Land, which is a movie starring Robin Wright, is coming to Blu-ray from Universal on May the 11th. And we also have Siberia on Blu-ray from Lionsgate on June the 22nd. And The Ladies Man. I was excited when I saw this because... I really like the ladies, man. I think Tim Meadows is a seriously underrated comedic actor and personality from the 90s. I, he was one of my favorite parts of the old SNL crew, and I love the ladies, man, bit uh, when it came on SNL. I remember the, the actual movie being okay and not great, but I, I would like to pick this one up eventually and see how it holds up today. So this is coming from Paramount on April the 27th, which is this week we have an announcement and we're also going to discuss it a little bit later but i thought it'd be cool to bring up uh because i haven't announced it yet and it was apparently in the slate last week with chris rock's uh Pootie tang and head of state so i went ahead and, and gave that announcement so before we get into uh the deals guys i want to discuss one little piece of news that had kind of been making waves and circling around the physical media internets over the weekend and getting everyone in an uproar and that is the fact that warner brothers is giving up on physical media so a lot of people took this to mean that we're not going to get any warner brothers releases anymore on 4k and blu-ray uh so say goodbye to titles like wonder woman 1984 zack snyder's justice league godzilla versus kong even though i think those are already in motion but you guys know what i mean we're not going to get any more of those from warner brothers uh, the blu-rays and 4k's distribution from them is done which is not exactly what this means so apparently what is happening is universal um, and warner brothers are teaming up to have their own distribution company called studio distribution services and this has been in motion since the beginning of 2020 so it is nothing new um a deadline reported this back in january of 2020 so yeah essentially warner brothers themselves as far as the actual studio will not be distributing um, their physical media themselves, but they are giving that responsibility out, a shared responsibility with Universal uh, to this new distribution company, Studio Distribution Services. So we will still be getting new Warner Brothers and hopefully catalog titles as well um, out there. We'll also be getting new Universal titles as well, which is strange that uh, everybody um, you know, brought up Warner Brothers, but nobody really mentioned Universal and the fact that they were doing the exact same thing. At least I think, I mean, it says that they're joining together um, on this venture. So one thing to take away from this, I think, at least in a positive way, is the fact that they're not giving up on, war on physical media. They're actually trying to come up with a way uh, to add longevity to their physical media releases. So at least they are invested somewhat um, in keeping physical media alive. The thing that makes me the saddest um, is the fact that we will likely be losing Warner Archive um, as a distribution company, as a distribution arm to Warner Brothers because they were part of them. And I don't think that they'll be continuing on in this venture. So hopefully I'm wrong and hopefully they find a way to still stay in operation. But yeah, a lot of good people that did a lot of great work for a lot of years are going to be losing their jobs. And that is definitely always sad to hear. But yeah, so anyways, I thought I would comment on that because this is the physical media report. So we got to report on some uh, of the physical media news bits. So let's get into these deals, guys. And you know the spiel here at the Mid-Level Media Channel. You know, we know times are tough. You can't go out every single week and spend three to four hundred dollars on all of these new great hot releases. You you gotta wait, you gotta pick your spots, you gotta wait for the deals, and I'm here to help you do that uh, in my covering of the deals this week that I picked off of Blu-ray.com. Again, thank God it was back up because it made doing this so much easier than I did it last week. Uh, so first up, guys, we have the Mortuary Collection. 
uh, which is $12.96. I spoke of this last week. This is an RLJE title. It was $20 inside Best Buy, and I said I was going to wait um, for that price drop because I knew it would eventually go down, and it has already went down to $12.96. So hopefully Best Buy will have this in stores tomorrow. If they do, um, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to price match it with the Amazon if it's not already down uh, to $12.96 in stores, and I'm going to go ahead and pick that one up because I did want to pick it up last week, just not for $20. So we also have a Hidden Life for $14.99. Which is a Terrence Malick flick? I've never seen it. The General's Daughter, which is an old, I think, early 2000s John Travolta military film, that is $12.99. We also have Rogue One on 4K for 1960. The Crudes 2 on Blu ray for $14.99 and 4K for $21.96. We also have the 4K for Hell or High Water for $9.96. This is another one that I'm thinking about checking out. Go ahead and pull the trigger on. I have the Blu ray, but it would be nice to have this in 4K because it is one of my favorite movies uh, to come out in the past few years. We also have the Godfather Blu-ray Trilogy for $27.34. Not a bad price for all three of these films together. Wonder Woman 1984 Blu-ray for $22.41. Game of Thrones, the 4K series, all eight seasons for $157.89. So definitely not a bad deal uh, for all those. That's less than 20 bucks per season um, in 4K for that. So if you're going to grab that, that's probably one of the better prices that it will be at. So definitely think about picking that one up. Ghostbusters Double Pack. I saw this in Target last week. If I do want to pick this up, I'll go ahead and grab it in stores. But that is $10 on Amazon right now. Another one that I'm thinking about grabbing, well, two of them, actually three of them, the next three I'm thinking about picking up. Uh, oh Brother, Where Art Thou is $5.99 on Amazon, as is The Maltese Falcon for $9.99, and Matilda, which is a movie I was talking about in stores last week. It's like the physical media gods heard my cries um, in Target last week, and I, I was talking about the DVD in there for five bucks, and I was like, I wish this had a Blu-ray. Uh, somebody actually commented on the video and said it did, and then I look on Blu-ray.com, and it's $7.99 on Blu-ray. So I think I'm going to pick this up, maybe watch it with my kids, because it seems like a, a fun movie that uh, would be cool to revisit with them. So Mulan is on sale for $17.99 on Blu-ray, and the new Wrong Turn movie, which I do recommend picking up um, at this price, is $12.47 right now on Amazon.com. So some really good deals this week. Um, nothing too big and flashy, but some really decent deals. I, I know that Hell or High Water 4K, that is a really good deal for that, that I do recommend. If you've never seen that movie, fantastic movie from 2016, kind of a new age Western film um, that I really enjoy. One of my favorites of that year, actually. So let's go ahead and get into what is new this week, guys. April has not been the best month as far as new physical media. May is looking a lot more promising, but this week um, actually isn't too bad. There's some good stuff. There's some really cool boutique label releases. There's some cool stuff that we might see in stores tomorrow when we go Blu-ray hunting. So a decent week overall, I think. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. We got the good, the bad, the ugly 4K um, from Kino Lorber is coming out this week. So I looked on Amazon for this. It's $27.99, um, but they were saying that uh, the release of it, it, it was, I don't know if it's sold out. It didn't say it was sold out, but it also said it wouldn't be able to get it to me till like early June. Uh, so I'm going to wait a week and see what happens next week and I might go ahead and order this one because I do want it in my collection. I've never seen the film before, so I know that's crazy for some of you all to hear, but I do need to see it. The next one that's coming out this week, guys, and I have it actually already in my possession, um, is Donnie Darko on 4K from uh, Arrow Video. Um, and yeah, this is a really awesome box set that I am going to get into this week and review for you guys probably on Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, Donnie Darko 4K from Arrow Video. Right now it is $32.99 on Amazon. And yeah, this set is amazing. I have not watched the movie yet, but the set itself is freaking amazing. I love it. Um, the next up, guys, from Arrow Video, we have Switchblade Sisters uh, for $27.99. We also have Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, which already has an Arrow release, but this is the Steel book uh, for $27.99. I got a chance to glimpse uh, this one in person because we actually sell these in the uh, warehouse that I work in. And uh, it's a pretty cool steelbook. I think it's a really awesome steelbook that if you don't already own this, uh, it's probably worth a pickup to be honest because it's a really cool looking steelbook if you're a steelbook collector. So Dirty Dancing 4K steelbook from Best Buy. Uh, so we'll probably see that in stores tomorrow is $19.99. I watched Dirty Dancing for the first time a couple of months ago. I didn't really enjoy it, 
but I love this steel book. I think it looks super awesome just with the pinks and the glossiness and the glistening. Uh, I think it looks like a super awesome steel book that I might be tempted to grab when I'm in stores tomorrow, but we'll wait and see. Nomad Land is coming to Blu-ray tomorrow, guys. The best picture winning Nomad Land. That was my favorite movie of the past year, so I'm so glad it got to win best picture. Um, that is right now, guys, $29.99 is what I'm seeing from Target website and Walmart. So that is way too pricey for a day one pickup for me. Even though I do love the movie, I will definitely wait for the price drop. And it also, what I found out over the weekend, it does not have a slip cover that comes with it. So that's another uh, negative on, on this release. Uh, so I don't know if I'll be picking up No Man Land tomorrow in stores without a slip cover for 30 bucks. That's probably not going to happen. Uh, but hopefully since it just won Best Picture, it will get a re-release with a slip cover and that cool Best Picture winning logo at the top of it. So I'll probably get it when that happens. We do have some Paramount catalog titles, which I alluded to a little bit earlier when talking about the ladies' man. That is coming out. And then we have Dead Man on Campus, uh, Head of State, Pootie Tang, and Dear God all coming out uh, from the Paramount line this week. We also have Vanquish on Blu-ray from Lionsgate for $14.96, this uh, action thriller starring Ruby Rose and Morgan Freeman, straight to Blu-ray. I don't know, I'm sure it's not great, but maybe, we'll, we'll see it in Walmart tomorrow at least, I'm sure. Masculine Feminine is a Criterion release coming out for $27.99. We also have Irma Vip coming from Criterion from $27.99. We have Deep Blood coming out from Severin tomorrow. Smile from Fun City Animations. The Time Travelers from Scorpion for $19.99. Werewolves on Wheels from Code Red for $19.99. Fun with Dick and Jane, which is not the new one with Jim Carrey and Tia Leone, but the 1977 one with Jane Fonda is coming out from Sony. We also have Punchline, which is a movie starring Tom Hanks and Sally Field coming from Sony as well. Vinegar Syndrome has some new titles coming out tomorrow for $34.99. We have Rush Week and Last Gasp both coming out on Blu-ray tomorrow from Vinegar Syndrome. I've seen people being showing off these releases like weeks ago, so I'm not sure what's going on with that release schedule. Did they come out weeks ago? Did they come out this week? I'm not exactly sure. So Warner Archive, again, guys, we're still getting releases from Warner Archive, so I guess enjoy it while it lasts. We've got Quick Change for $17.99, another Thin Man for $17.99, and we have some cool Kino Lorber Blu-rays this week as well, in addition to The Good, The Bad, The Ugly on 4K. We have a Battle Him for $17.99, A Lovely Way to Die for $17.99, and Heartworm Highways for $17.99 as well. And with that, we have wrapped up all of the new releases for the week, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Physical Media Report, episode 54. Like I said, please like, comment down below what you're excited about out of all these announcements. What are you picking up this week? Please join me tomorrow for my Blu-ray hunt. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications for all future videos, and we'll see you next time.